we will now discuss about a special case of motion, where the acceleration of the particle is constant over the duration of time under consideration. Why do we need to discuss about constant acceleration case? To answer this question, we see that in many types of motion, the acceleration is either constant or approximately so. For example, you might accelerate a car at approximately constant rate when a traffic light turns from red to green. We will now try to understand what constant acceleration means. Consider a vehicle for which velocity at the end of every second is plotted against time, and the values are as shown in below table. From the table, we see that the velocity is changing at the end of each second. From our previous class, we know that whenever a particle undergoes a change in velocity it has acceleration associated with it. We will now calculate the acceleration of this vehicle at the end of each second. From our previous class we know that acceleration is the change in velocity over time. So acceleration at the end of first second is given by A average is equal to V2 minus V1 divided by T2 minus T1 which equals 0 0.5 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 which equals 0 0.5 meters per second square. Similarly if we calculate the acceleration from first second to the end of second second, we get A average is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2 minus 1, which equals 0 0.5 divided by 1, which equals 0 0.5 meters per second square. Continuing in the same way, we see that the velocity of the particle increases by a constant rate of 0 0.5 meters per second for every second. And hence we can conclude that the particle is moving with a constant acceleration of 0 0.5 meters per second square. Let us understand constant acceleration using graphical analysis. Let us plot the values mentioned in the table on a graph. If you need more information on how to plot a graph, please see previous videos. The coordinates for this tubular information are 0, 0, 1, 0.5, 2, 1, 0, 3, 1.5, 4, 2. 5,2.5, 6,3, Let us identify all these points on a graph. If we connect all these points, we see that we get a straight line. We know that the slope of a straight line is constant. We also know that acceleration is the slope of velocity time graph. Since the slope is constant, acceleration is also constant. Hence if velocity time graph of a particle is a straight line, we conclude that it is undergoing constant acceleration. 